All right, guys, we are here, public storage. And here we go, we got this unit right here, 1466. It's a nice little 10 by 10. So I paid 280 bucks for this unit, which I think is cheap. Ooh. Yeah, look at this, guys, take it in. This is a 10 by 10, like I said, 280 bucks. We have some sellable merchandise. This I can see from the photo, Moscow Mule. Okay, and it's just a bottle sleeve, like it keeps it cold. These hats, so I couldn't even make that out. Russian standard vodka right there. So this looks to me like a liquor distributor's locker, like somebody that worked for a distributorship and had a whole bunch of merch, swag, whatever you call it, you know? Um, will these sell at the market for even a dollar each? I really don't know. I don't know. We're gonna try. Looks like some sweatshirts or something. I, I'm trying not to get in these spider webs right here. That says it's not been entered in a long time. I like that. We found it in the last locker too. And then um, one cut lock there, so yeah. Let's see what we got over here. Uh, what does this say? Majid Abusi, Young's Market Company. And uh, yeah, that's right up the street here, so let's see. Yes. Okay, the standard mule. The standard mule. Russian standard. Okay, so that's the vodka company. This is a Moscow mule mug. I think it's copper plated over stainless steel. This looks like a nice little mug. And two in there. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-two remaining. If these are the same, there would probably be sixteen, thirty-two cups in one of those boxes. So, uh, well, no, I don't know. That's just, well, let's not get into it. I don't know what this will sell for, but a couple bucks, a couple bucks a mug, hopefully. Hats, I don't know. Um, let's look over here. Russian standard. A lot of dust in here. This has not been gotten into for a while. This is, uh, like bar mats right here. Those rubber mats in the... They have little uh, indentations in there, so if you drip, it falls in there, you know what I'm talking about? Um, okay, these over here, almost looks like canning jars, but with this probably glass made by Libby, and one dozen, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If we sell them online, we're gonna get some good money. If we bring them to the flea market, we'll get meh. Gummy bottle, okay, we're gonna get in here. Again, there's spider webs right here. I just wanna point one thing out, this right here. Orca, Orca Chaser Teeny. These are little stainless steel. Check this out, I'm gonna put on the screen right now a comp on Amazon. These sell for 30 bucks a pop. And on Amazon, it said there's over 100 of them sold in the last 30 days, so they are selling. 30 bucks a pop, brand new. This uh, right here, 12 count, 12 count. Potentially a $360 box, but I don't sell on Amazon. I don't really care for Amazon. Um, we sell on eBay. On eBay, they go a little bit cheaper. New sell for in the range of uh, 15 to 25 per martini glass. And um, what's nice about this is if there's 12, we might make one listing, quantity 12. So it's very easy to list, but check this out, guys. What's this? There's another one. There's another box, a full box, and they do look sealed. So let's hope they're in there. We're gonna crack it open in a minute. And then look at all this. There's a lot. There's a little bit of garbage up there, it looks like, but is this all full? So yeah, like I said, not a unit that I normally would go for. Not the type of stuff I buy usually. But $280, um, you know, even if I said a dollar an item, there's thousand items here, probably. Saw 120 of those, 24 of those, uh, not including hats and uh, the sweatshirts or whatever. There's thousand maybe two thousand items here so i don't know if this is gonna be a good deal but those orca chaser teenies i think we can sell those online and get get a considerable amount for that i don't know guys try something new what do you think all right let's uh let's start digging in right now okay let's let's see what we got here oh spider waves um okay a lot of hats oh my goodness hats and the moscow mule slip things slip covers uh there might be a couple hundred Cats right here. I don't know if we get dollar each on them, but we're gonna try. <clears throat> Let's see those hats. If there's a couple hundred hats in there, and I think that's probably a good conservative estimate. I'm gonna try to get dollar each, but let's say we do 50 cents each. Maybe that's a hundred bucks in that box. Hundred bucks already. All right, and I'm gonna be. I'm gonna try to be conservative. I think I'm being conservative. All right, now these shirts right here, brand new. I managed to cut my finger in there already, moving the stuff around. Jeez, didn't take long. Knucklehead locker nuts. Okay, mediums and larges. We want some extra larges and double XLs. There's smalls, medium larges. Hmm, this is gonna be harder to sell, to be honest with you. There's an XL. Getting some larger sizes at the bottom here. XL. Uh, let's see. 45 pieces. Uh, it looks like there's probably some taken out because there's less now. So, probably 30 pieces and I don't know. I'm hoping to get two bucks each. Let's just say 50 bucks on that box. Okay. 
is this? Again, see, it must be another one of their liquor lines. Picnic at Ascot. Okay, it's a, it's a bottle bag, I think. Put two bottles in there. I think that's what that's for. I mean, you could use it for whatever. It is brand new and, and kind of nice. You use a camera bag if you wanted to, but I think that is a bottle bag. And we've got four of them here. Now, this might be something that we could sell in our live auction. Hmm, I think, I think, I think. So let's put those aside. Um, but if the flea at the flea market, I'd say five bucks each on theirs. There's another 20 bucks. Hopefully online, they'll, we'll find a way to sell them online and we get a little bit more money. All right, what do we got here? Okay, a little martini glass, stainless steel martini glass right here. Stainless steel. It's nice, brand new. I don't see a brand on this one, so that's going to be a little bit harder to sell than those, right? They're not worth as. Still kind of a neat find. Okay, let's make. Let's see if these guys are in here. In it. it it doesn't look retaped. That looks like the original tape. Boxes and boxes. That's a good sign. Never been opened. Okay. All right. I've never seen one in person before. And da -da -da -da. that's what it looks like. Nice packaging there. Chase Rotini holds eight ounces of icy goodness. It is nice. It is definitely an upscale stainless steel martini glass. Not that I'd ever say there's an upscale stainless steel martini glass, but that is one. And you see it's got the plastic right here, the lid. I think you can do a little sippy sippy right out of it. You pop it, oh, you pop it open, then you do your sippy sippy. All right, you can take it off to do your fill. Fill her up. I don't, yeah, I mean, whatever. It's kind of novelty-ish, but it's, it's cute. I mean, if you're getting together with your girlfriends, doing your little girlfriend party and having some martinis, I think the guys are in the other room drinking the beer. I might be being very sexist and very stereotypical right now. <laughs> uh, and I've been guilty of that, but that's just, that's where my mind goes when I see that. That's, that's for the lady cocktails, but... There's a market for it. That's what I know. A hundred a month selling on on Amazon. Okay, so we've got 12 here. And like I said, on eBay, they're selling between 15 to 25. Let's just say 20 bucks a pop. I usually don't sell my stuff for too cheap. 15 seems on the low end. Actually, I've seen used ones sell for 15 to 20. So the new ones for 15 were, were uh, probably undersold. They were underpriced rather. So we got 24. Let's just say 20 bucks each. Okay, that's 240 bucks. We may even offer those up for sale on our whatnot uh, because we do have some buy it now stuff on the whatnot. Okay, right now, I'll tell you guys more about that in a second. Right now, I want to see what this is that it has batteries in it. Starline. Okay, what needs batteries? Okay, okay. It is also branded Russian Standard Vodka. That's a brand new Bluetooth speaker right there. And that's why it says, uh, huh. That's why it says batteries, because it's a battery product, so. Okay, got the little charger cords. You know what, we're gonna bring those home too. This is not gonna go to the flea market. Um, how much would these sell for, guys? I'm thinking 10 bucks each would be pretty good. So we got 12, uh, 16, 16 in this box here at, I think 10 bucks a pop. I think that's probably a, a price we'll move, Matt. There's 160 bucks. Okay, let's grab the next box. I'm not seeing like repeating boxes yet. Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, I just said that maybe this is it and that's this would be the right box to repeat. It says it's another star line. I think it's more, yep, more speakers. Okay, if these are 10 bucks a pop, we've got another 15 there. Uh, another 150 bucks right there. Yes, yes, that's, that's better than baseball caps, but I still like the orchid glasses best. Oh, okay. Well, how did I not see that was another box of them? Hot dang, there's more. Hot dang. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another 160 bucks. No, what am I saying? Another 80 bucks. Locker Nuts does math well. <laughs> Look, mom, no college degree. <laughs> All right, this one. This glass, vodka as it should be. Now, nah. um, is that I've never had vodka out of a glass like that. 
that's a big old glass. That's a, you could pour yourself a mega pint in, in that right there. If you guys watch the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial, you know what I'm talking about, the mega pints. These are plastic. Okay, wait. I wonder, hmm? These are plastic. They're kind of cool, but um, we don't got big money there, I don't think. All right, so we'll bring that to the market. 16, 20 of those. Probably another 20 bucks. These guys, four of those, I think a dollar each. 20, uh, so it's another four bucks. Okay, we've got more of those mugs. And these are the ones I thought we should get 10 bucks a box on. More of them. A Moscow Mule mug right there. So 12 more in there. Same as this. 11 more in there. Huh. Okay, we're gonna consolidate through these boxes. Whoops, no, this was way more than that. Okay, scratch that. This has three layers. Uh, that one has two layers. So this one's three layers. That is 24 more of these. Uh, at 10 bucks a piece, that's 20, 240 bucks more, plus seven more. It's 310 bucks right here, guys. Ooh, that's good. Really good, really good, really good. Again, even if I only, if I can't move them at 10 bucks, and we move them at five bucks, Meaning 250 a cup, right? Two for five bucks. We're saying per box. That's still a lot of money in these boxes right here. This looks like another box. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, there's another 24, 240 bucks. That's what I'm estimating. These are all made out to different people too. It's kind of weird. I'm putting these on the back because um, those are not going to go to Stockton. We're going to probably list those, I'm thinking, in our buy it now on our whatnot auction, right? <clears throat> if you guys don't know what whatnot is, I've been promoting it like crazy for a while now. Uh, but while I talk, here's another box of 24, another 240 bucks. Good, good, good. <laughs> Starting to add up, guys. <clears throat> Whatnot is the live streaming auction app that we do auctions on almost every week. And we've been promoting it like since the beginning of the year. We've been doing auctions pretty steady for the for this entire year. And we're having a lot of fun. We're selling a lot of great stuff and there's some great deals being had. Check it out guys if you haven't yet. Oh, look at that. Russian standard vodka, stainless steel, made in India. So that's nice. It's just a, like a shaker glass or something. I don't know what you call it. I don't know what the technical term is. But that's a nice, nice piece right there. I'm thinking at the market on that, I'm thinking two bucks each. We got a dozen. There's another 24 bucks. Yeah, shaker. That's what it says, stainless steel shaker. Another 24, that one's not even open. Another 24 bucks. Another 24 bucks. Let's make sure. Yep, it's all there. And another 24 bucks. Yeah, we probably won't be auctioning this kind of stuff, because it's not exciting. We really do put exciting stuff, silver jewelry, gold jewelry, gemstones, coins, collectibles, like baseball cards, comic books, any, really anything. Anything that we find, anything that we acquire, we sell there, but only the best stuff. That's what we're selling there, any live auction format. There's some bags there, really nice bags, but honestly, I don't think there's any value here. The only person I think that will buy this is his gift bags. Is someone that has a store, you know, like a thrift store or something, they might buy those to use in their store. I think it'd be a hard sell to market right there, but we'll still bring it out. Um, but this kind of stuff, like the, you know, the better items that we're finding, like these, these types of things, uh, we might put those in our buy it now store on whatnot. So when you come to our auction, there's also things for sale. So you can just pick up and we do it cheap. Like we have uh, a quarter pound of 1943, wait, is it 44? I forget, the steel pennies, steel pennies. We put a quarter pound of those up for 15 bucks. We have these rare Disney glass toppers. They're little tops for the bottles, bottle toppers, 15 bucks, they're rare. We have five different Disney uh, characters. Oh, jeez. That, that was a black widow. Did you see that? That's that's why I'm always, always trying to roll camera because you never know when that guy freaking jumped out at me. He lit like uh, that scared me. There he's right there. And I'm not, usually not that scared, but I'm not wearing protective gear on my feet. There, there's usually not two black widows. I don't think they are. They, when there's one, there's not another one. I'm pretty sure. Actually, I'm not really very sure. But maybe I'm just telling myself to overcome my fears right now. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. You never know what's gonna happen in the locker. Let's see, what is this? Is this something we found before? Yeah, it's more of those shakers. All right, 
few more. When I say two bucks each, there's another 10 bucks. Two bucks each at the market, not not if we put it on our store, right? We've got to get a little bit more money for uh, shipping it and putting it in boxes and spending the time and everything, right? Uh, but it won't be much. We put stuff up for cheap on, on there. And I'll tell you what, guys, if you haven't tried whatnot yet, if you haven't tried the app, uh, we, for one, we encourage you to because it's a lot of fun. But for two, we've got a sponsorship with them and they're giving our, our viewers $15 in spending credit for free. So the first 15 bucks you spend will cost you nothing. It's on the house, it's on whatnot. They're gonna thank you for trying them out because they're sure and we're sure that you're gonna have a great time and you're gonna, you're gonna get hooked. You're gonna, wanna, you're gonna wanna go there and check out what else is there. There's more of these plastic uh, drinking cups. I think those are kind of neat. Not terribly valuable. Uh, if I knew there'd be people that want this kind of stuff, we'd put those in our bite now, but I don't think that's gonna be as popular. But even at a dollar each, there's another 20 to 25 bucks. I'd say 25 bucks. Yeah, so whatnot's gonna give you 15 bucks. And some of the stuff's gonna be in our store for like the Bluetooth speakers. I was saying, well, maybe we'll put them in for 10 bucks each. You could go there and get it for free. If you guys haven't signed up for whatnot yet, you can get it for free. You do have to pay shipping in, in, in hand, wait, so shipping and taxes, not handling, shipping and taxes. You gotta pay that, but uh, the item itself is gonna be free. There's more of those big glass bowls right there. I was saying a dollar each on them, so there's another eight bucks, big deal. Yo, oh, what's this? Oh, it says dummy bottle. Dummy bottle, huh? <laughs> it's pretty funny. Plastic. It's it's cool. I mean, yeah, for for your store or whatever, you put that up. So how much can I get for that? Maybe three bucks each. It should be more, but I'm saying maybe three bucks each at the Stockton flea market. There's four of them. There's another 12 bucks. Okay, you know what? Let me grab one of these. It, okay, that's good. It's heavy. I'm hoping these are glass. Feels like glass. Usually I'm like, I hope it's not glass. Today I'm hoping it's glass. Yeah, that's what they are. Russian standard vodka glasses. Um, boy, I don't know what to do with this. The fact they're all the same might help them sell, but usually it's a stretch to even get a dollar each on this stuff at the market. And not just stocking. Dianza too, we don't sell glassware all that well. But let's see, if we do a dollar each, what'd I say? 10. There's 10, 11 of those, at 12 each. That's 132, 132 bucks. There's a few more actually right here. Let's just say 100 bucks, right? Let's just round down in case they don't all sell or whatever. 100 bucks, I don't know. Uh, let's put that as a number, but I don't, I don't think, I don't know if those will sell really, I don't know. Buyers in Stockton are cheap, but if I bring these to Stockton, I mean to uh, De Anza, the better flea market, it's a lot of weight. It's a lot of weight and a lot of space. We bring our van there. The van does not hold that much. So we'll pitch them. We'll pitch them for cheap. These are not $5 items. So the stainless steels are at least are lighter, easier to ship. These are heavy. I know a lot of you guys watch the videos and critique me saying that we pass up so much profit by selling stuff so cheap. And I get it. I get it. We do. We do. I fully understand and accept it. But I'll tell you what, this is not an easy business. All right, let's see what's in here. We do pretty well, so I'm not changing my strategy. I think it's a good approach, but it's not right for everybody. So I understand why people critique it, you know, trying to compare it to their philosophy or their methods, but it works for us. We focus on the better stuff and the cheaper stuff. We move it quick. Hey, that's beautiful right there. Look at that. It's for napkins, cocktail straws or whatever. It's for like a bar. That's pretty. Another one right there. And it looks like we got three more in there. I don't think those would be big money. Two bucks each probably, two two or three bucks each. I'd say maybe, I don't know. Let's just say 10 bucks in there. Okay. Oh, I think these are more of those shakers. Yep, they are. Uh, I don't know if these will sell. These ones I'm less confident on, but it's another 14 of them. I think I said two bucks each on those. Another 28 bucks. And again, that was, Flea market prices, right? Okay, this is prohibition mugs. <laughs> Dusty. Huh? That's the same as shaker. Uh, they're calling that prohibition mug, huh? Um, it's just some more shakers. Another 15 there, so 30 bucks. Ding. I think this is more. Yeah. More shakers. Okay. This one's got 12. They're all different size. Maybe there's more differences to them, but 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six times 12, 72. And because these all look the same or sim very similar. Uh, two bucks a pop. There's another 140 bucks. I don't think we're going to get that all at, yes, the shakers. I don't think we're going to get that in stock in two bucks. I think we're going to hit a threshold. We might bring one box out at a time because I don't think we'll have enough buyers to buy that many shakers. Oh, well, 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 look who we got here. Somebody decided to come over and see what the excitement's about. You just came back from the movies? Yep. Great what'd you, movie. What'd you see? Retribution with Liam Neeson. Huh. It just came out today. It's good. Oh. Holy. Wow. What are these? I don't know. You want to find out? Let's see. They're big. I haven't opened them yet. It's a display rack. Oh, wow. For Russian vodka. That's cool. I they didn't have that when you had your trains. Oh, uh, yeah, the train show, but this was taking up a lot of room in the van. Oh, um, yeah. But yeah, this nice shelf. No kidding. You've got all of those store, in the same thing? Well, I'm assuming so. Wow. So, how much for that, you think? 20 bucks at Stockton? 25? Oh, at Stockton, 20. 20. <laughs> so, there's five. So, that's 100 bucks. Not bad. This is nice. So look at how well it's brand made. new. Good. I think this is a, a liquor distributor, a distributor for Russian standard vodka. Wow. So found hats, sweatshirts, polo shirts, all kinds of cups. And there's like four shelves? Yeah. Huh. Nice. Um, I mean, really, that should probably be a couple hundred dollars brand new. That's nice for ice, huh? Yeah. Yeah, this is nice, huh? Oh, look at this. There's lights that go on the bottom. You're kidding. Yeah. And they light up. So no, no batteries, but twist and pull. Uh, that's actually pretty cool. Maybe, maybe we keep that if Jana wants to. I know, for a nice bucket? For, for a party? Yeah. Heck yeah, that's cool. Put it outside. I already had Black Widow jumped out at me and no. tried to get me. Yeah, I had to kill him. It bit you? No. Oh, I thought you said I swear you. he's trying to get me though. Oh. He ran out so fast, I was like. I know. Uh, are there two Black Widows together or is it just one at a time? No, usually just one. Yeah, okay. I think yeah. they share food. I think they kill each other. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, that's nice, huh? This is a bar mat. So if you're making drinks, you put oh. your drink right here and you pour. So if you spill, the liquor goes in there and then you just take that and dump it in the sink. You got some more here. Yeah, I'll get it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, these are probably we should bring the Dianza and get at least five bucks each yeah. on them. I think they'll sell there. I do not think they'll sell in Stockton. They have bars, you know. Yeah, people do it. People well, at Stockton don't have a bar. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, that is cool, huh? Is this some more glasses? Yes, it is. Yeah, that's not like the other ones I found. That's more like a wine glass or something. What are those? Glasses? Yeah. I mean, we, we probably won't be able to sell that in Stockton. Even a dollar each, they probably won't sell. Those won't. They're not cool enough. What's in this thing? Uh -huh. Oh, you haven't opened those yet? Mm -mm. That looks like a bicycle seat cover. Yeah, I mean, it does. A, 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 a seat. What? That's weird. I have a bicycle with no seat right now. Really? Yeah, I found it. A bicycle with no seat in one of the lockers. Looks like a nice one too, Jack. That would be actually kind of... So what is this? Uh, this is like a basket, I think just for storage. Is it on a bike? Goes on a bike? Oh, maybe it is. Tool that goes this is a bike seat. That probably is yeah, for a bike, maybe. A bike. Maybe that's the right. hardware to... Yeah. Uh, another one here. Another what? Another basket like that. It's a share bike. It's another thing yeah, like that. shared bike right there. Oh. Interesting. Cool. That's a nice seat. Republic? Yeah, that looks pretty nice. No kidding. Uh -huh. That's a nice seat. Look at the springs on it. Yeah. Cool. Okay, that's a few bucks. Yeah. I mean, really, that's probably ten bucks. Ten bucks. This, uh, I don't know. Five Pearl bucks. Pearl might like one if he has a bike, yes. Um, and then this is another, another basket. Oh, nice, another basket and seat. So the seat goes with it? Is that a bike? <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> right? Two bikes and two baskets. That's holy cow. Oh, wow. Okay, now that's kind of cool. Uh, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> Where else needs a bike? There you go. How about a brand Russian new one? Standard bike. Six. Oh, so there's. Eighteen. So you know what? It's some kind of. Oh, okay. Wait. This one's sealed. We'll leave that sealed. Cool. This one's open, so 
Oh, it's, it is brand new. But Amazing. you know what? It takes, wow. it takes freaking forever to put these together, though. Well, yeah, but still. You're giving it that whirl. Well, no, I don't know if you'll want this. Is it too fancy? Yeah, I think it might be. I'm trying to hold this down for you. Holy cow. What is this? Is this is the seat for the back? Or no, it's that, that thing on the back. That's a nice bike, Jack. Look at this. It's probably okay. I don't think it's going to be that good, but it's packed up good. Probably came from China or something. Um, it's probably some kind of promo thing, like... Yeah, but that, this is to hold stuff on the back, too. So you got a basket for the front and this for the back. Something like that. It looks like a beach cruiser. See the handlebars? Mm -hmm. It looks like a beach cruiser to me. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, it a, it's not a gear shift. Is it just a regular bike? It looks like it's only... I only see one brake line, so probably just one brake, maybe? Hmm. It's probably a beach cruiser. Beach cruiser, one she one speed. They are. Jeez. It's white. And green, green tires. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Hey, that's. I'd say though we could probably get fifty bucks each. Easy. We'll try it for seventy-five each and stock them. I think fifty bucks each. So there's another hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. So scratch the seat. The ten dollars on the seat. That's uh. Well, that's got to. That's go part of it. Though, yeah. We'll sell it all together. Yeah, I'd definitely go to Stockton with it because it's too uh, too big for uh, Dianza. But these, I'll take the Dianza right here. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, okay, pitchers, plastic pitchers. More barware, but I think those are only going to be a dollar or two each. Are you going to take those to Dianza? Nah. No? I'd say another 10 bucks right there. These I don't think we'll even Seems get. Seems like people at Dianza would like this stuff. Uh, well, I just can't take that much to Dianza. I don't want to take cheap stuff to Dianza. Yeah, it's gotta be five dollar, ten dollars in it. So, uh, yeah, let's do some here. I think there's more cups. Nope. It's, oh, it's another one of these, but yeah, it's brand can, new. Yeah. This thing, yeah, ice bucket. Cool. Yeah. Um, what are these cups? Those are all. These are stainless steel martini glasses. So for these, I think we could probably get twenty bucks each on these because they light up. A little bit cooler. So 20 bucks, 20 bucks, we'll probably keep one. But, and then these, I think we can get, I think we get five bucks each on these. Boy. Eight, nine, 10 of those, 50 bucks. All right, so I think I've been through the whole unit now. 280 bucks. Well, I think you can get your money back and make Oh, right, I'll make on good it. money on yeah. it. I'll make a couple thousand dollars probably by the time it's done. It's just gonna take a while to sell it. I think the bikes are cool with the basket and that seat on the back. Yeah. That's awesome. I think that's cool. That's all right. Anything they made to give away for a vodka company is not going to be high yeah, quality. No, but, but still. If it's like, like somebody's a, not going to care, it's a brand new bike. Well, you'd be surprised. The stock them to get kind of picky. How do you know it's made in China? Because everything's made in China. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see it. Almost everything. Mahim, Mahid Abusi, Young's Market on Las Positas Road. All right. Well, I've got to clean all this up. This stuff put aside and take our time on that might make our buy it now. A little stuff on the back of my truck, and then all all this started to get packed in. It's looking pretty good. I'll have to stick the bikes in here, and uh, the baskets in the seat and stuff. Of course, and that's it. It's fun. All right, mom. Well, thanks yeah. for coming by. Oh yeah. Got the got to see a little bit of it. It's not not the most exciting locker. This is just some little money maker yeah, but you got some for new us. Stuff here. Yeah, Brand 280 bucks, thousands of pieces those of merchandise. Those racks are nice. Somebody's going to like those. Those should probably actually be like 50 to fifty to 75 each. I know. But not in Stockton, it won't be. Well, can't you start it higher than 20? <laughs> Let them bargain a little bit? We can, and then we can watch it go at the dollar sale. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, anyways, uh, we'll, put, we'll put the uh, amount that we potentially are going to make off my conservative estimates on the screen so you can see maybe what we can make off of locker of this magnitude. Like I said, it's something different for us. We don't usually buy merchandise like this, but it's kind of fun too. It's a little change, but I bought two here in the same night, just a few minutes apart. This one got for 280, which I thought was a steal, really. The other one, I paid 610 for, and I think it was way too much, but that one looks interesting. So once I get this all loaded up, I'm gonna head over there and start going through that, and you guys will see that in the next video. All right, until then, good luck to you. God bless you, and we'll see you next time here on locker nuts <laughs> she's a pro okay i'm looking at this that's a crate i think it's a good brand gfx-20 it actually looks like a pretty decent one though i'm thinking 10 or 15 bucks so that's that's it maybe more but it's a little uh pan right here with the folding lid almost like a camping piece boxing gloves nine round i think that was like a uh, gym